Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Andrew Missick. I'm running for Texas State Representative, HD18, which is Liberty, San Jacinto, East Montgomery County, and Hardin County. So, something on the news that's happening today is the big story is the border and the National Guard on the border. And I served on four National Guard border missions over four years. So I served, I'll be at Operation Secure Texas, which is OST. We had OGS, which is Operation Guardian Support. We also had another mission called um, Operation Lionheart. And now we have Operation Lone Star. So I served in all of those missions to keep our border safe. And I know the border very well. From Brownsville all the way to El Paso, I've been to pretty much every port of entry. So I have unique experience on the border, experience that uh, Ernest Bales and Janice Holt don't have. And this is the biggest issue facing our country right now. And it has, an issue has to be confronted. And I have felt in the past that Governor Abbott hasn't been doing enough, but now he's stepped up. And what's going on if you have, we have Shelby Park. And what I saw at the border was how you fix the border. And the way you fix the border basically is building the wall. I saw how effective the wall is. And also, and people there Hispanic majority communities on the border want a wall because they want security and safety. The Mexican drug cartels control the northern Mexican states. I wish that wasn't true, but it is. And that endangers people living on the border, so they want security and they want a wall. When Trump started building a wall in McAllen, La Jolla was saying, hey, that's not fair. Why are you giving McAllen a wall and not us? And there already is a wall going from Brownsville all the way to McAllen. They're, ex they're extending it. And there are certain places while I was there, they're building more wall. And I saw a wall going up also in Del Rio, uh, the wall in Eagle Pass. But anyway, I've been across the whole border and uh, we need it. And also, it's just law enforcement. They have this policy which Biden reintroduced called catch and release. You catch them, you release them in the United States uh, for a, a pending court trial date they'll never come to, uh, which is like five to seven years in the future anyway. Trump stopped that insane so-called Flores Agreement, and he introduced the migrant protection protocols, which has remained in Mexico. And I saw it. I saw migrant horde after migrant horde pouring across our border. Then Trump pulls out of the Flores Agreement, which means he's stopping catch and release, and then um, does remain in Mexico. And this constant barrage became a trinkle. And Trump was able to secure the border with a two-pronged attack. One, build the wall. Two, uh, stop, catch, and release, and have these these people who are not, they don't have valid asylum claims. They're not refugees. They're committing fraud. Uh, they want to come to America. They don't have, well, they're not even coming legally. They're exploiting our system. and take this. It's a fraudulent system. Probably 99% of these people are not refugees, and uh, this is uh, exploiting the, the graciousness of the United States, misusing the law, abusing the law, abusing the people, and... Uh, they would say for the longest time we have, you know, 11 million people, illegal aliens in the United States, and they finally admitted it's 20 million. And now we're going to have another 20 million just in the four years of the Obama administration. So what's going on there? The uh, Biden administration is throwing open the border and allowing as many migrants so far, over 8 million, to come across our border. And uh, so what's going on is Shelby Park, they're trying to take over this area to process as many illegal aliens as possible. And... Uh, Governor Abbott says no. The National Guard sees control that this is state, Texas state property, and you can't come on this, this property. It's our property. You can't do it. And also we have things he's doing. I don't believe he's doing enough. But some of the productive things he is doing is running Constantino Wire and uh, the floating buoys. And then what does the Biden administration do? Anything that's effective in slowing down the flow of illegal aliens crossing our border Ill illegally, breaking our law, uh, they... they they cut down the Constantino wire. The Border Patrol goes there and cuts it open to let the, you know, give the illegal aliens and the Mexican drug cartels free access to our country. Uh, so I want to go back to Carrie Lake because uh, she, when she was running for governor and she won, they stole it from her. Uh, but she was saying uh, that she was going to, as governor, the Constitution says that the states have the right to defend themselves. The, the, the federal government has an obligation to defend the states from foreign invasion. But if it doesn't do this, the states have the right 
to take that authority upon themselves. So Kerry Lake says, as governor, I'm going to declare that this is an invasion, which obviously it is, and uh, I'm going to implement the constitutional protections, uh, the, the obligations, the constitutional obligations. If the government's not going to protect our, our state from foreign invasion, then I will take control. I will uh, mobilize the National Guard, and we will repel. We're going to repel the invasion. So uh, Governor Abbott uh, is putting Constantino Wire up and floating buoys. Both are effective, and it's gone to the Supreme Court. And unfortunately, John Roberts is not a big surprise. He's a left-wing extremist. He's not a conservative, so it's no big surprise that he's betraying our country uh, and opening our borders up to foreign invasion. Uh, but people are really shocked and disappointed by Amy Comey Barrett, where she's violating the Constitution by uh, facilitating a, a foreign invasion. So Texas says no. Texas says we're not going to take down the Constitution wire. We're not going to take down the, flo the floating uh, buoys. Uh, we're going to do what we need to do to protect our state from a massive foreign invasion. And the likes of which have been seen throughout history, this massive invasion, and uh, such invasions that have happened before have led to the, the fall of great civilizations and cultures and empires. You know, we, uh, the Mongol hordes destroying the Chinese empires, uh, the Germanic hordes destroying the, the Roman Empire. It's not a good thing. Uh, but what they're, this is all about changing the demographics of Texas especially, but of the United States, uh, because they want to change the, the electorate. They want people who are more friendly to uh, Marxism and communism and state, totalitarian state control. They want more dependence uh, on the state government so they can have power. They want to increase the power of the federal government. That's what the Democrats want to do. Some Republicans, they don't want to pay the American working man and woman a fair wage. So uh, they want to bring you know unfair competition with people who don't have a legal right to be here because these greedy businessmen are, are cheap. They don't want to uh, build up our economy in a way that benefits the citizens. They just want to hold, hoard all the money for themselves, the richest 1%, and uh, uh, just betray the country over to foreigners so they can exploit people. It's terrible. Look, I believe in free trade. I believe in a prosperous economy, but we need to put the economic needs of the American citizens, your average American first, especially above. Uh, look at these. Look at these corporate organizations now. They're all woke and they're all in bed with the Democrat Party. And uh, conservatives need to, and we have started standing up to these people. So I served on the border. I understand how urgent it is, and I want to commend Governor Abbott for standing up at this time. He has been, uh, he hasn't been as strong on the border as he should have. He's hesitant. Uh, he's, a, he's afraid to take the, the, a bold stand like Kerry Lake would have. Uh, so I'm thankful that Governor Abbott is our governor. I'm glad he beat Beto. Uh, I'm very disappointed that Kerry Lake had that, that election stolen from her. They did the same thing here in Harris County, the way they did in, in Arizona, where they sabotaged the voting machines. They had the wrong size papers. They did this, this, the same playbook. I'm sure it's coordinated in Harris County and also in Arizona, the, the latest strategy for the Democrats to sabotage elections and steal votes and steal elections through fraud. Happened in Harris County. And, and what bothers me about it is there's no accountability. We have to address the issue of voter fraud. So that the, uh, the border is important, and uh, Texas is taking a stand. I served on the border for four years, as I mentioned before. Please remember our soldiers who are making great sacrifices, and sometimes the conditions which they're enduring at the border are very difficult. Standing out in the elements, wearing uh, the uh, body armor, uh, sometimes not having proper restroom facilities. I've seen it because I, you know, I care about my soldiers. I want to see what they're doing. And, and how they're doing and what needs they have. And uh, we need to, of course, at this point, everybody that's on the border mission, for the most part, wants to be on the border mission. Uh, but still, it's a great sacrifice that our soldiers are making, keeping our borders safe and exposing themselves to danger. And now here we have this, this, uh, this great conflict, the federal government trying to crush the states, the federal government working against the interests of the states and against the interests of the American citizens and putting uh, power politics uh, above the law and uh, hurting our state and our nation. And uh, so right now, Governor Abbott is doing, uh, he's invoked the constitutional uh, clauses about protection from an invasion, and uh, God bless him for it. So we need to stand with our governor. He needs to do more. He's been kind of timid uh, in taking this action. He should have done this 
you know, when when uh, Carrie Lake was talking about it, once Governor Abbott took office, he should have done exactly what Carrie Lake said she was going to do, and they stole it from her because they knew that he that she was going to do that. Also, we got cartel activity here in our country, and uh, Carrie Lake talks about this. And that recording she had where they tried to bribe her, it came up. Cartel activity in the United States, threatening and bribing uh, our elected officials. we got to get rid of the, uh, the cartels. So here's my message for today. The word for today is be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. That's from Joshua 1.9. And we need to stand on the word of God, and we're going to have faith, we're going to believe, and the Lord is going to give us victory. Um, we should love everybody, including illegal aliens, but that doesn't give them the right to break our laws, and there needs to be accountability. And it's not fair to, uh, I mean, we, we got homeless vets. We got people, you know, living on the street. We have a drug addiction problem. And then we have uh, these countries don't want to take care of their own citizens. And they want us to take care of them, their health care, their education. It's not right for our citizens, our children, and our poor people who are struggling in this Biden administration where the dollar's worth less and less every day. It's lost over a third of its value, if not half, since this joker Joe Biden seized power and is ruling through this uh, the, the new Obama junta. Uh, so we need to put America first. And that's why I'm a Donald Trump candidate. That's why I believe in make America great again. We need to stand up on the truth of the, the, the gospel and on our Constitution and uh, make America great again. That's what we should, it says in the Bible, that we should seek the benefit uh, of the nation in which we dwell. So let's do that. So let's pray uh, for the blessings in America. And also, this is an election year, March 5th, 2024. Go out and vote for border security. Vote for Dr. Missick. So thank you, and God bless you.